Are you guys ready? Let's go, man. This is going to be great. Three, two, one, go. All right. So they are started. All right. So as you guys can see, they have not used any inventory stars and they have not taken any deaths yet. The first point that they are going to be going for in this run is going to be the MFP tunnel. We're going to have to see. We got Haxer on the left side. We got Zikabee on the right. Zikabee already taking damage right off the start. He's probably so happy about that right now. You love to see that. You love to see it. So the first point on the left side, MFP tunnel. Uh, I think after this, I think Zikabee is probably... Is he going to get this mushroom or the other one? He didn't get P-Speed. Neither did Haxer. Is he going to get this mushroom? He's not going to get this... Where is he? I guess he's going to get the mushroom from the fortress, huh? He's definitely going to get the mushroom from the fortress. Haxer doing a little flip-floppy. Not getting P-Speed. It looked like he got screwed over by P-Speed. It looked like he was about to get P-Speed, but then it kind of like took it away from him. So we'll see about that. That's right. Zikabee is going to get this mushroom. He's going to wait for the Patui. Or sorry, the Potobo. Oh, he's going to flub around. Hacks are not going for the orb, allowing Zikabi to keep his lead. Boom, and they both pop it. And look at how close these guys are. This is incredible right now. Already hot. Hot off the stove, guys. And for anyone wondering, yes, I had to wolf down my chicken parm super fast. And it was very tasty. All right, MFP tunnel. Keep your eyes on Zikabi's screen. He's going to be the first one attempting the tunnel. Hacks are will be followed right away. So as soon as you see Zikabi get it or not get it, look right at Hacks' screen. Zikabi does Zikabi get it? Goes for the duck jump. He gets the tunnel. Haxer does not get the tunnel though. So Zikabi gets the point five, and he is happy to see that. That gives him an instant lead right away with a point five. MFP tunnel. Damn, dude. You hate to see it, man. You hate. To I was hoping they both get it, so we tie it up. Haxer getting a little bit better RNG, but getting movements of two. He, he has the comfort of not having to fight the Hammer Brother before level six, and same with Zikabi. So. I think when it comes to Warpless, as long as you don't have to do that, you don't have to worry about Hammer Brother battles or any any crap like that, so. All right, here we go. Uh, again, just a reminder for anyone watching for the first time, I am using the feeds of their stream and I'm using the feed of their timers, so that is why they're not perfectly lined and synced and everything, but it shouldn't be a problem. I think everything's fine. While, the, while these guys are doing the airship, again, also for other people who don't know, let me go ahead and host the channel as well. Forgot. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tweet it out. Um, okay, so. They don't use an inventory star. Until they use an inventory star, they get constantly rewarded the point five. Um, and they haven't died yet, so they automatically get the reward. So when they die, I take the reward away. Okay, so they haven't died yet. So world one is the MFP tunnel. And for those of you who don't know, world two is 2-2 two -two with a 292 in the pipe. And a 221 or higher on the fire kill on the boss in World 2. World 3 is the frame perfect jump in 3-1. You get door 3 in the fortress. And if you kill Wendy with exactly 210 on the timer and all three of her rings out, boom, you get 0.5. World 4 is the lovely ass point. We call it ass point because on the on the thing it looks it looks like it says ass right there, doesn't it? But it doesn't. It says 288. You gotta get- Oh, hold on. We got a fire kill. Zikabi, he knows his fire kills, so he should be fine. Haxer also knows his fire kills as well, and he is also fine. This is a very close race, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very close race. All right. Anyway, so you got the ass, and then in World 4, you don't want to fight the star bro. If you fight the star bro, you get punished, okay? Um, on the right-hand side here, we if you die, you lose 0.5. If you get a fanfare, you lose 0.5. If you go over an hour, you lose one full point because you should not be going over an hour. The, um... Let's see here. What do we got? We got coin ship. If you activate a coin ship right here, that's minus 0.5. And you get an off-screen wand grab, that's 1.5. Nobody has gotten an off-screen wand grab yet. All right, now we're back in the action. We'll get back to the points later. Right now we got action. Type exclamation SMB3 if you want a list of all the points and the rules and all the brackets and challenge, all the information you need. Exclamation SMB3 and you're good to go. All right. Looks like they're killing that 2-1. Hacks are going for the turn back to guarantee he gets the off card where Zikabi did not. So it is possible Zikabi gets the bad card. They both get bad RNG in World 2 it looks like. 
We've already seen people get early hammers. Zick and B with the 297. 296. Oh my god, he's looking good. 295. 294. 293. Does he get it? He gets the 292. Hacks are two. Ah, oh, hacks are just missed it. Zikabi is clearing house with points right now. Holy mamma jammas right now, as Jabin would say. Zikabi not getting a move of four, Haxer. Not getting a movement of four either. That tells them no early hammer. You want to get a big early hammer. Haxer also getting peace speed alongside Zikabi right now in the fortress, looking pretty good. They're both, in terms of skill, they're both doing pretty, really well. Haxer had a bad one, two. Zikabi had a bad one, one. Looking pretty casual. Zikabi also kind of had a, a bad fortress as well, unfortunately, due to the, the power-up grab. Gave a chance for Haxer to catch up a little bit there. Haxer's 1-2 was definitely something that, that put him behind a little bit, but this, this, he could definitely catch up. This is clearly way far from the game. All right. So the next point that you can acquire in World 2 is the fire kill on, uh, on the boss with a 221 or higher. Haxer bumping on the overworld map. Giving Zikabi a little bit more of a lead there until Zikabi also bumps on the overworld map. You cannot get away with a warpless run. Ooh, Zikabi trying to... What was that? It's a good thing you didn't kill them. That would have sucked. That would have sucked a lot. Right on. They're both making good work of 2-3. Looking pretty hot. Zikabi trying to clip his fireballs. I don't know what the deal is with that. Ooh, ha oh, Zikabi has... He has somewhat tame RNG. Where Haxer also has somewhat tame RNG. The position the bros are in right now really gives them a good idea if they should go down or if they should go up after the sun level. Um, if they were both beside each other, this would have been really annoying for them. But I think Haxer wants to go for the music box. That, that He has made it clear that that is his meta uh, for comfort. Which I think is a pretty good idea because the music box can save you from a lot of different things. So let's see what Zikabi does. Zikabi going right up there for the hammer. Not wasting any time. Whereas Haxer's gonna go, he's gonna, he wanted to go down to get the music box, but he's gonna go up and get the hammer first, and uh, maybe he gets lucky. If not, he might not go back for it. Zikubi, however, is actually going to use the same strategy. Wow, he's gonna go down and do level five, the slower level with the extra map movement to get the music box. He has been practicing, it seems like, because I don't think he did this in his first run. So let's see what Haxer got. Haxer had to do level four, which is a really, really um, lame part of RNG. But I think no matter what, Haxer is actually able to get the music box, right? If he moves up. No, either way, he's good. Okay. So let's see if he actually goes for the music box um, based on his situation. It's going to be very interesting to see. Uh, Zik could be getting, you know, he got better RNG in World 2. He didn't have to do level 4 first and backtrack, where Haxer is definitely having to do extra map movements here. Not getting stuck on the hill is his dream right now, so Haxer is very happy the pyramids work for him. Let's see if Zikabi gets sticky hill right here. He does not get sticky hill, so he is good to go. He's gonna go with the duck jump, and he's gone. Right on. Uh, Zikabi, however, does have 22 coins. Haxer not getting the music box, putting him in the lead! The music box will not help Zikabi actually take the lead here, so... Um, yeah, the hacks are uh, cleaning by with, uh, with the... Um, you know, I guess he was just doing what he, what he felt he had to do. I know he wants the music box, but if he doesn't get it, he doesn't get it, right? So the hardest part about this music box is the fact that it... Um, the new 5-1 route is banned uh, for all the runners who didn't want to uh, have to learn a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, to participate in this tournament without being at a disadvantage. So, the music box is not gonna... Not having the music box is kind of gonna hurt Hacks a little bit. Um, especially if he gets run... He's gonna hate himself if he gets run away, bro. I know I would. Um, whereas Zikabi uh, has the music box, so he has... You know, it's like a tool. He can use it when he needs it. Hopefully it works out really nicely. Take a sip of my Sodi Pop, guys. All right, Haxer, come on, man. Get a point. A 221 fire kill. You got this. He's going to be the first one entering the fire kill. He knows his fire kills. This should be a walk in the park for him. Let's see what he's got. Two shots, four shots, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's, he's got it. 221, boom. He wanted to go for the off-screen wand grab. Didn't have the right movement. Let's see if Zikabi gets it as well. He got two shot, four shot, 221, 221. He's got it as well. Zikabi has cleared house right now 
with points. He is non-stop. People have gone for the Wendy point, and people have gotten the Wendy point, yes. Right on, congratulations to both of our runners right now. Haxer, feeling good about getting a point. He does not have to worry about that right now. However, he does not know that Zikabi right now has got a full, he's clearing house. All right, eyes on Haxer screen. Does he get the first frame jump? This would really help him right now, come on. Oh, he doesn't get it. Dang, man, that sucks. All right, Zikabi's turn. If Zikabi gets this, that'll be ridiculous. Zikabi with the frame perfect jump. Let's see if he gets it. He gets it! Oh my god, he's clearing house! He is unstoppable right now! Holy crap, dude! We have not seen a card this full in the early starts of a run yet, so this is incredible. It's about the points, ladies and gentlemen. Haxler does have the lead, so he is not actually as far behind as you would think. Um, he, if he, like, if he got first place in the run, you know, then uh, he gets those extra points for getting first place, so... Very interesting. Hacks are going for the hard P-Speed strategy in 3-2. Nails it. Walking apart for him. Zikabee's turn now. Let's see if he gets it. Goes for the P-Speed. The build looks good. Cleaned house. He got the P-Speed build. Zikabee's going to get some coins here. So now he does not have to worry about his coin ship anymore. Which is pretty good. And they both make heavy, heavy work of this. Zikabee's going to get the in. Ooh, jumped a little too high there. Does not get his P-Speed back. Hacks are scared right now. The Hammer Brothers on the right side there. Which means he is one step away from running away. And that is not what you want to see. Zikabi, however, he has somewhat of a safe World 3 right now with the positions. He's got a couple couple spots. Haxer with the 45 coins. Not worrying about coin ship. I don't know if I can say the same thing about Zikabi right now. He's going to get some coins right here. Push them up to 36. He's not going to grab... Okay, he's pretty good. 39 coins, 49 coins. They're pretty good right now. They're looking good. Haxer not getting run away, bro. He is so happy to see that. However, it's he is not in the clear yet. He is not in the clear. If the Hammer Brother- Ooh! Haxer does not get door three! Oh no! And then Zikabee gets a water battle with the Hammer Brother moving in the runaway bro position. This could be really bad for Zikabee. Haxer has options here. Zikabee gets runaway bro! What is he gonna do? He's already fought the first Hammer Brother. Does he get door three though? Let's see if he gets it. Zikabee, can you fill your card? Is that what's gonna happen? Oh, he does not get door three. That's the first point he has finally not gotten. This is the craziest world three right now. Hacks are finishing up. Ooh, Hammer Brother. He's going to go for level four. Hacks are getting a really, really good movement there, securing his non runaway. That's really good. They don't mind doing the extra map movements to guarantee they don't get runaway. However, Zikabee, I have no clue what he plans to do right now. He was forced to fight that Hammer Brother. I have no clue what he's going to do. Is the Hammer Brother going to run back? Oh, he's deep in there. What is gonna happen? This is, ooh, the situation. See, Haxer now can get his hammer, brother. He does not have to worry about runaway, bro. Let's see if Zikubi gets extremely lucky here. If the hammer, brother runs back, holy crap, Zikubi. All right, Haxer gonna go for the extra screen transitions. Not much he can do about it for safety. Well worth it. Does the hammer, brother come back? Oh, it almost came back. That is the worst. So he's going to do the um, the other route. This is a very, very good uh, strategy to use, I think. He's going to get the music. Or he's, getting the, he's going to get the um, the cloud. And then he's going to cloud back uh, past across the bridge. What he's got to hope for is that the Hammer Brother doesn't move to the right. If the Hammer Brother moves up and to the right, then the bridge is going to be closed again. And he's going to have to go and do the fortress. What a nightmare for Zikabee right now. He had the music box, didn't use it though, so, um, very interesting. Oh, the Hammer Brother! He's gonna, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, okay, okay. Not bad, Zikabee is back on track right now. He still has the point lead. Neither of them have taken damage, and Haxer is just bombing his way through World 3 right now. This is absolutely fantastic. Getting the H jump, no sweat off his back, killing the turtle for no reason. Only for the lulls. He's gonna smash the fish right there. Boom. Kill that. And then he's gone. All right. No fanfares yet for either of them, which is pretty good, I'd say. So I'd have to say that minus having the star for Zikabi, which doesn't matter because they're not using the star, I would say that Zikabi is, um, with time, he's behind a good chunk, but um, we'll see how it goes from here. We'll see how it goes from here. This isn't too bad. 
This has been an incredible World 3 by both of them. Haxer not getting the runaway, but making work of the good decisions to not get runaway. Zikubi getting unlucky and getting runaway, but making the good decisions after getting runaway. Um, we did not remember what we saw last race with Teeks versus... Or, um, I think it was Stewie versus Calco, where I think Stu used the, the clouds, or I think it was Teeks or someone. We saw it before earlier in the tournament. I'd have to go back and check it out, but... Um, there has definitely been some really bad decisions made in World 3, um, and also some really good decisions made in World 3, so... Um, you love to see it, guys. You love to see the whole thing. Now that we are on the airship of World 3, the last point that we can get in World 3 is the 210 with 3 rings Wendy point. Um, now, I don't think either of the runners are gonna go for that point, mainly because they have not taken damage yet and it is not worth it. I would also agree. In my opinion, I feel that it's not worth it. However, if you practice the Wendy point and you got really good at it, it would be no sweat off your back, right? It would be easy. You have your strategy, you did your timings right, you know, maybe Wendy does the same thing. Let's double check for Haxer. He's got the two, four, six, eight, ten. Nice clean kill. Nice clean kill for Haxer there. No subpixel manipulation, so he's just gonna stand and wait for the wand. He's looking pretty good right now. He's looking really good. Alright, we have Zikabi making his way through the end of the airship with a whole crap load of points here. Look at this. Incredible, man. All these points. He's getting it. Alright, let's see if he goes for it. What do we got? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, he's not going for it. Damn, I wonder if he was thinking about it just by the way he killed the boss there. Haxer is a full-on peach letter cutscene king message ahead of Zikabi right now, so... The, what we're going to see from Haxer in World 4 here is he's going to skip the ass point and hopefully not get the star bro point. That is uh, very important for him. As long as he doesn't take damage, if he does take damage, he might he might opt to go for a specific point or something. But World 4 has... World 4 is a very short world aside from the airship, so the points were not able to extend super far. So as long as he, he's, he plays clean and does normal warpless, he should be pretty good. All right, so he's got set up for, uh, he got a movement of four, which is annoying. He's got decent RNG. He's making his way through 4-2, killing it right now. He grabbed the block, despawn, making it safe. Zikabi going for the safe shell strat, which is uh, interesting to see from Zikabi because he is really good at the non-shell strat, so I'm very surprised to see that. But it's about comfort right now. He's not worried about time. He... He knows he's in the lead with all the points. He can assume that Haxer has the same amount of points. But regardless, he knows he's doing really well. Haxer with the amazing RNG there. That is, uh, that makes him feel safe because he knows he's guaranteed to fight the cloud after, uh, 4-3. And Zikabi with the despawn as well, doing the same strat as Haxer. He's gonna throw the block instead, though. He doesn't care. Haxer not taking damage, making a very clean 4-3. They're both doing really, really well. Smashing their way through World 4. Uh, Zikabi is not letting Haxer get any lead on him, though. Not any lead whatsoever. He lost a little bit of time with the shell strats. Ha Zikabi also getting the prime RNG in World 4. Where's this in my runs, man? Alright, hacks are getting the cloud. Looking good. Looking good. I, I gotta pay these guys to give me this. Looking really good, though. Looking really, really good. I love to see them getting the good RNG because it just makes for clean uh, competition here. Hacks are going for the lack of two jump. He gets it. Nails it. Alright, he's gonna go for his uh, quadruple swim. Bounce. Gets it. He does his pop set of water. He does one swim jump. The super swim. And here it is. Does he get bopped? He does not. He knows his way. He knows how to do it. It could be with the Hammer Brother kill. Again, that lead is... The distance is the exact same this whole time. Uh, it could be getting good RNG there. He does not have to worry. Whereas Haxer is... all oh, Haxer got amazing World 4 RNG. You love to see it. Zikabi nailing the P-Speed strat with the lack 2 jump. He's gonna go for his second jump here. Nails it. Now he's just gotta watch out. Make sure he does not get sniped at the end of the level. That would be really bad for him. Goes for the super swim early, and he is clean. Easy peasy. Axer making sure he doesn't get the fanfare as well, though. Making good work of that level. Now, I'd say that's one of the most fun levels in World 4 as well. You got 4-3 and then 4-6. Really fun. Alright. P-Speed strategy. Oh! Zikabi! Eh, it's not much he can do about it. Max are getting P-Speed in the Fortress. Alright, let's take a... We got Zikabi making clean work as well of the same level that Haxer was just in. He does the Prana Plant shot. 
Ooh, he does the bounce off the turtle. I thought he was going to take damage there. It was very scary. And then hacks are killing the fortress, man. Right on. So now the Hammer Brothers do a movement of one. And he knows his movement of one uh, fire kill. So he should be pretty good. Haxer has a very comfortable lead right now on Zikabi uh, in terms of time. But Zikabi has that, what is it, 1.5 point advantage. And if Haxer wins the race and they both only get um, sub 60, Haxer will only have the additional lead of the one point with coming in first. That would not put him in first. And neither of them taking damage. So this is absolutely incredible. All right. All right, now that we're on the super slow airship, I have a chance to take a look at chat. How are you guys doing? You guys having fun? You guys enjoying this race? This one's pretty crazy, man. This this race is is pretty incredible. We they've Zigabi got some bad RNG, but they got they both got really good World Four RNG, and I think that's I think that's pretty important. Brought to you by So So D Pop S O Capital D Pop. This race, epic. No ass point, though. World 4, World 4 is going to get a really good twist, I think, for Season 2. We've made it very clear that uh, that World 4 is kind of like a pass-through world. Um, Teeks, however, does go for the ass point, and Teeks getting the ass point in his last race is actually one of the deciding factors of what had him win. So... Right? These runners would, would be struggling up against someone like Teeks because... Uh, Teeks did, or er, Zikabi did not go for the fortress. Neither of them went for the fortress. Neither of them went for the fortress, so there's no two. It's only in the fortress. But they, neither of them got the star, bro. So they, oh, look at, Zikabi is gonna go for the floaty strats. <laughs> that is so silly. You love to see it, though. Alright, Haxer going for his fire kill. If he takes damage here, he is going to be really upset. That gives Zikabi a massive chance. Let's see what happens here. Goes for his shot, shot, jumps. Goes for his extra shots. He's good, man. He's clean and ready to go. All right, he's got the floaty shots. All right, chat, take it easy. Enjoy the vacation. I will be back next time. Let's go. We got Zikabi going for his fire kill, and then Haxer approaching 5 1. All right, Zikabi, do not take damage. You should know the kill, man. You do warpless all the time. Jump. Oh, he's going for the stomp kill, which is very risky. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. I don't know why he went for the stomp kill, but he went for it. He does warpless all the time. He knows his fire kills. I was one I'm wondering what he was thinking there. Very interesting. Hacks are not. Ooh, with the slow turn back there, almost getting caught by the nipper. Uh, that was, um, he has some weird momentum movement there, and he's opting out to not go for his fast peace speed strategy. Which I don't blame them. One missed shot, one missed jump, you take damage. Very easy to take damage in 5-1. Very easy. Ooh, Haxer instantly gets a movement of 4. No chance for him for the, uh, special RNG point in World 4. Not a chance. He does not fall down the shaft of, shaft of shame. However, he does take it slow. Zikabi, is he gonna go for his shots? Zikabi, not, he's going for his one shot. Right on. So Zikabi actually gains a little bit of time here. However, he had a slower fight on the boss. So Hacks are not letting Zikabi catch up at all in time. But the hands could change it all. World 7 could change it all. Zikabi not getting a movement of four. It'd be very crucial. Hacks are getting a second movement of four, unfortunately. So the Hammer Brother moved to the castle and he moved back from the castle. Hacks are gonna use a mute. No, he's not gonna use a music box. It's gonna be an RNG based World 5 uh, for Hammer Brothers here. So it'd be very interesting to see uh, what happens here. <laughs> Haxer has two flowers though. So we're gonna see what happens here. If he gets a fanfare, that'll be very uh, unfortunate. Zikabi not getting a movement of four. He got a movement of three, which means. The Hammer Brother is very far from that movement of four position. So this is very interesting. Hacks are getting bomb RNG in world four and five. This is what you want to see. Ooh, flubbing up the chest. Um, that's a couple seconds lost there. That's okay, man. Getting that 
Yeah, that P-Wing is really tight there for him. Another movement of three it looked like there for Haxer. You hate to see it, man. What's going on with these movements? All right, let's see what Zikabee gets. If the Hammer Brothers do a movement to the left. All right, he is clean. Zikabee getting another movement of three using his extra music. But Haxer takes the damage though. Holy crap, that is a big twist right there. That damage is a big twist. So you gotta... Haxer's gotta hope that Zikabee makes a mistake here somewhere. Somewhere he's gotta make a mistake. Haxer is probably going to assume that Zikabee has not taken damage either, but... Zikabee's probably assuming that Haxer's not taking damage either, because... Both of them are very, very good. Haxer's stopping to smell the roses, but he gets out of there quick. He only wanted to smell like one or two of them. Now he's done. He's done for it. So... Hopefully, Haxer does not get a fanfare here, because then that is more, more taken away from him. Alright, so let's see. Haxer, I don't think he's gonna get a fanfare here. Yeah, it doesn't seem normal. It could be definitely catching up. Haxer's damage doesn't throw him too far behind in time, so it could be still in the same. Haxer getting awful movements in uh, in World 5. I mean, he gets lucky with the P-Wing. He just doesn't get lucky with the movements. He got two movements of four and two movements of three so far. Really annoying. Zikabi used the music box and he got a movement of one. So he has still not gotten a movement of four yet. And he takes it really slow for 5-5. For five, five. Gets the P-Speed. Doesn't take the damage. Does the duck jump. And he's clean to go. Another movement of three for Haxer. He cannot use a star here. Uh, he did not opt to get the uh, Leaf there in that level to damage boost, which I don't think was a big time loss or anything like that. And Zikubi gets the movement of four! No reward! No reward for Zikubi. He has not taken damage yet, so... But I don't think he's going to go for Jesus Clip, nor is Haxer. Haxer's not died. I don't think it's a good idea for him to go for Jesus Clip. He knows this. He knows this. Haxer, another movement of three. So Haxer's movements right now, I think, have been uh, two movements of four, four movements of three. Haxer got so many bad ar bad Hammer Brother movements that Zikubi has pretty much caught up in time. They're both pretty close. That is why World 4, or sorry, that is why World 5 is so bad with RNG, man. The worst. The worst. Oh, Haxer getting a weird clip. What the heck was that? Zikabee making work of this level as well. Let's see if he gets a weird clip like that. Oh my god, Zikabee almost took damage. Wow, that was incredible. Dude, that Tri Bones is such a troll, you guys. Such a troll. So neither of them are, are awarded for the no moves of four in World 4, and neither of them fell down the shaft. And heck no to the Jesus clip. So we are going to move on. And we're ready for the world six points. All right, the hardest level in the game right now. Very possible if he does not execute the perfect duck jump, he could have taken damage there. We're watching Zikubi because if he takes damage, that will really even this race out right now. All right, Haxer is out of there first, man. He's still clean with a good lead right now. He still has a nice cup. Zikubi with the frame perfect inventory, apparently. That was incredible. <laughs> um, but yeah, Haxer still has a very comfortable lead. He can almost get hand one and keep a tight, comfort, comfortable lead here. He's not an incredible time behind or ahead. He's not like, you know, 20, 30 seconds ahead, but, you know, he can get an extra bro and still be, you know, okay with the lead. But it's not the perfect lead. You want to be like a minute ahead, you know? That's, that's the I can get a hand or two and still win lead. That's what we're looking for. All right, so now we're on the airship. For those of you who don't know, World 6, you get awarded three points if you kept the same Fire Flower from World 1 all the way to World 6, which Zikubi has. Unfortunately, Haxer took damage on the Thwomp in the Twisty Castle. You hate to see it. Um, but Zikubi, we've seen Stewie take damage on this airship. We've seen weird things happen, so you never know. You never know. And if you get first try wall jump, you get 0.5. And if you get the four... If you get the Fort 3 clip, first try, you get 1.5. That is a massive time and point swing. Hacks are going in first. He's going to go for the fire kill. Not worth it unless you get a movement of one. There's no point. It's just stress. Stress heck. He's going to go for the off-screen wall grab. He does not, but he went for it. Is Zikabee going to... Oh, that... Is Zikabee going to go for it? 
Oh, they both... Hey, they went for it. And that's what matters, man. They went for it. This race is incredibly tight right now. If Zikabee takes damage on this Hammer Brother, he will lose his, his opportunity here. He will lose his opportunity. <laughs> Sorry, I had to take a sip of my Sodi Pop. My Sodi Pop. Ooh, Hacks are getting a cloud from Peach there. Interesting. Oh, I love that. The first input in the world is a bump. I hate when that happens. Hacks are going for the hammer usage. He's getting clean. All right, Zikabee. Don't take damage from this hammer, brother, man. If you do, if he accidentally used the P-Wing as well, he's looking pretty clean. Also avoiding coin ship. Haxer is also not on coin ship pathways right now. Here it is, Zikabee. Enter the fortress. And he gets the three points. That is incredibly large amount of points right there. Haxer taking the more... Ooh. Haxer taking the more self... Uh, the more safe strap, but it, it is very comfortable and works nicely for him. Whereas Zikabee went. Zikabee does a weird one, man. He jumps on the question block. I'm not very familiar with that one. If there's no time lost or saved with it, it's just a very interesting way of doing it. It seems comfortable. Hacks are almost missed it. And look at how much Zikabee's catching up. Holy crap. Now, uh, for anyone in chat wondering, there is the honor system. They cannot see what the other player is doing. And they both get a mini marathon right there. You hate to see it. Is this going to be P-Speed versus not P-Speed? Hacks are not getting P-Speed. Zikabee also not getting P-Speed. Holy crap. If Zikabee would have got P-Speed or a Paxer, man, th th this would have been crazy. All right. They're both looking pretty good. Wow. This is close. One slip up from either of them. Axe are getting good RNG. That is the cloud, and he only wants the cloud. He does not want anything else. Zikabee, on the other hand, has lost the space in between the two Hammer Brothers. That drastically decreases his odds of getting lucky. Haxer has high odds of getting lucky, but he's not guaranteed luck right now. If the Hammer Brother moves up or down, Haxer is safe. But if the Hammer Brother moves right, he is unsafe. So he has a higher chance of getting lucky, but... For the past two worlds so far, World 5 and in World 6, he has not been getting lucky with the Hammer Brothers, so we'll see what they do. Zikubi also in a situation of luck right now. After he fights his Hammer Brother, if the Hammer Brother moves up or left. Well, if he moves up, he has to fight him. If he moves left, he doesn't. Let's see what happens to both of them. Hacks are getting lucky. Zikubi also getting lucky. And Zikubi takes the lead by like two frames. What in the actual heck is this? They are so What is this? Doing the same thing. Look at this. Haxer did faster work of this fortress, though. So he got his lead back. To watch them both get lucky like that and then just clean sweep right by. Down to frames right there. Not anymore. Not anymore. We're a large... Ooh, Haxer getting a move of two. Losing that lead from Zikabi. Zikabi getting a movement of one. That is how important, ladies and gentlemen. But P but Haxer got P-Speed earlier than Zikabi. So they are resynced. This is so stupid right now. This is so incredible. Oh my god. A movement of two. Haxer loses the lead. Zikabee gets a slower P speed, loses the lead. This is just so ridiculous. Another movement of two, so Zikabee gets the lead. Alright, wall jump. Who's gonna get it? First try. Zikabee gets it! Haxer gets it! What the heck? This is crazy! They both get the wall jump, man. I am going insane right now. Holy shit. This is the most. Pog World 6 I have ever experienced in this tournament. Look at them. They're both synced. Are they Are they going to go for the mushroom and the clip? Haxer probably will. He knows he's behind. He's going... They're both going for it! Dude, if they both get it or something, I don't even know. This is stupid. Oh, neither of them got it, but Sick of Me went in the door first. However, he did jump, so he did lose time activating the elevator. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I hope I'm not I, I hope I'm not cringe hype right now, guys, okay? I'm sorry, but this is just excites me so this is so awesome. Alright, I gotta read chat, man. I gotta see how you guys are doing with this. Oh my gosh, the end of the world. They are so close. 
<laughs> Man, this is incredible. Uh, there's a clip at the end of the third fortress that allows you to skip the elevator. Oh, man. This is just insane. Zikabee does have a very large lead um, with points. However, uh, we do have the World 7 Equalizer definitely coming up here. Yeah, nice try, Human Mustard. It's like 7-7. Seven, seven. Really hard. But if you want to... Ooh, Zika be getting the swag. If you want to see it right away, Human Mustard, uh, go to the Mario 3 leaderboard, any percent warpless, go to Karua's run, and just go straight to the third fortress in World 6, and you can see it. It's right there. He does it in one of his runs. Drink some water. I got my soda pop. I'm good. I got a little bit of water here. But yeah, I got my soda pop. All right, guys. I'll see you on the other side. I got to go back. They're, they're almost entering World 7 right now. So we got to get ready. Seven World 7 is crazy. What if, if Haxa gets all the clips, boom. He's like pretty much caught up. All right, so you're both going to see them set up for subpixel manipulation. However, Haxa's going to do the right move. One pixel, then the left move to get subpixel 14 and 15, where Zikabee is not. Zikabee is going to move one pixel to the right. He does not get it. Did Haxa move one pixel to the left? I am not sure. I was too busy watching Zikabee. Ooh, Zikabee did not move one pixel to the right. So if I was Zikabee, I would assume I have a high subpixel value and I would go for the standing clip. Let's see. Let's see. This is very interesting. I have a feeling neither of them are going to get a first try and this might come down. Dude, if they both get a first try, I that's it. I retire. This, I, I don't even know what to say. I can't even say anything. <laughs> All right, Zikabee is going first. I'm very nervous. Fingers on the trigger right here. Seven one, first try. Does Zikabi get it? He does not get it. Does Haxa get it? He does not get it. Oh my gosh. It is. Oh, Haxa gets a second try. It came down to the 7 7. Zikabi getting it fifth or fourth try. Woo. All right. So here's what's interesting Haxer does have the extra P Wing. Zikabi does not. So Haxer is going to get a big time boost here over Zikabi by having that P Wing. Just watch. Very interesting time lead here. Look at Haxer's speed right now. Boom. Making heavy work. Is it going to be going to go for the normal strat? Yep. Not much he can do about it. Oh, not getting P-speed. He gets it here, though. Does he keep it? He does keep it. Okay. Wow. That must have been a little scary. Do not fall in the pit. He's good to go. You can see how much that P-Wing saved Haxer. It didn't save him all that much time versus fighting the... Hammer Brother, however, the way Zikabi had to do his 7-2 definitely gave him a boost in lead. That was well worth it in the past. So, luckily. Alright, hacks are making good work of 7-3. It is actually kind of one of the easiest levels in the game. Um... And the reason it's easier than most other levels is because every visual cue jump that you do is based on a full big jump. And full big jumps are the easiest jumps to do in the game. If you do a full big jump at the edge of a ledge, and you know that that full big jump lands you on the enemy you need to hit, then you're, you'll you never mess it up, right? You'll just hold the A button. That's all you do. All right, Haxer, he's going to go for his sub-pixel manipulation setup. What you want to do for this one is you want to move one pixel to the right... And then you want to do slight taps to get above sub-pixel 3. So let's see what he does here. He's going to take the damage. He's going to bounce. He moved forward. I don't think he pressed anymore because that was a pretty heavy forward that he did there. So let's see if he gets lucky here uh, with the 7-6 uh, sub-pixel manipulation. Where Zikabee's turn, he's going to do it as well. He does the move forward. Let's see if Haxer gets it. Haxer misses his jump, so we will never know. But he gets a second try. Does not have to worry about it. Zikabee's time to get... To get more points here, does Zikabi get a first try? Fingers on the trigger. Let's see if he gets it. He gets it! Oh my gosh! The, the point .5 for first try 7-6. Which means Haxer's going to have to come over here and do 7-7 seven, seven right away and get the heck out of there. Haxer would hate to see it because he's been trying to get it in his hundo run. So if he gets a first try, that's really annoying for him. <clears throat> if he doesn't get it though... No, he didn't get a first try. He's got to get it soon though. 
Zikabi not going for 7-7, which is insane. That means he has the lead, so he could get the first place points. Who Haxer gets the 7-7, right on. Incredible. So this actually doesn't put Zikabi in that much of the lead. Wow. That did not give him much of a lead there. Haxer using his P-Wing. Gonna uh, able him to boost him forward. This is crazy, right? This is an insane race. Is Zikabi gonna go for the clips? He's not. He's gonna take the advice on going for the clips three and four and three and four only. There's no point in going for the bottom two clips because if you get them, you ruin it. Hacks are not. Oh, hacks are not getting it first try. Dang it. He needed that 1.5 advantage there. If, if Zikabi doesn't get it, let's see if Zikabi gets three and four. Zikabi goes for clip number three. He gets it. Oh my god, does he get clip number four? Wow, he did not get it. But he almost took the lead with that clip and he... Holy shoo. He tightens the gap so much right there. Wow. Hax is going to use Music Box and Cloud to get the heck out of here. I think Zikabi's going to do the same thing. They are out of there. This is the most incredible race I've ever watched in my life. They are in the fight for first place. If Haxer gets his nice, comfortable first place, that helps his average points. Although I don't know if he can really take this from Zikabi. If he gets, if he gets Wrangless, no hands, first try, power up, that is 2.5. First place with another two, sub six, like he could. He still can. He can still do this. I really think he can, right? Has anyone done the math, right? It's very interesting. This is absolutely incredible. They are so close right now that who knows, man? Who knows right now? Not much to say on the airship, guys. Now's the chance to take a breather, right? I'm using this opportunity to not have to uh, say a whole lot, take a little breather. Whew. Boy, oh boy, have I been talking. Oh, man. All right, Haxer is going to be first at the boss. He does not want to take damage. Haxer needs every single point from here until the end to, to win this or tie it, right? He can! It's possible! Especially if Zikabi gets none of them. Alright, he's going for the jump. Gets the first hit. Gets the second hit. Zikabi! Zikabi! See what I mean? That's exactly what I'm talking about! That means Zikabi will not get that award at the end! Oh my god! What?! He had the off-screen one grab! No way! Wow! He- he didn't believe in himself! Peter Pan didn't believe! He got the wall jump. He could have got the off-screen wall grab. That would have secured his win. Oh, man. <laughs> he had the off-screen. No. Why, dude? You always trust. Don't give up. Don't give... You gotta believe in yourself. He cannot get Wrangless either. Haxer could take this. This is what I'm talking about. For anyone who doesn't know what happened on Zicky B's side, him taking damage means he's not going to be awarded the World 7 power-up point in World 8. And also, he cannot get Wrangless. However, Zicky B was able to get a wall jump during the boss battle, which means he could have got the off-screen wand grab. And if you get the off-screen wand grab, you're awarded 1.5 points. Which would have cleared his loss of 1.5 points from losing his power-up and not getting Wrangless. 
he would have been safe. And he would have had the extra 0.5 and he would have won the race with just that right there. He could have won the race. But now, if hacks, ooh, man. <clears throat> this is, this is too much. It's 1.5 for wine grab, but you cannot use the Tanuki tail. <clears throat> That'd be cheating because it's so easy. They're both gonna go for the D-Lag strats, which is actually an advanced strategy, believe it or not. It's not the most easy thing to do. Learning how to do strategies in auto scrollers are not very common. Mainly because you have to get there in an auto scroller setting and then you have to redo the auto scroller and practice the auto scroller, which sucks. Alright, Haxor, come on! Wrangless! No, oh, he almost gets it, dude! Almost gets it. Zikabee cannot get Wrangless though, so Haxer is. He needs this stuff. He needs some of this stuff right here, right now. I apologize for calling the raccoon Tanuki. Oh my god! Oh man! Zika be getting robbed there, so he's gonna lose more time. This is down to the hands. Alright, guys, now is your chance. Get your guesses in, guys. Get your guesses in right now. How many hands are either of them gonna get? Is Haxer gonna get a point for no hands? Is he gonna get first place sub 60 with elevator clip and original power up? That is extremely important. But also, don't forget, guys, Jesus Clip runs this whole tournament. It breaks this tournament. Don't forget that, guys. It's all about Jesus Clip. <clears throat> I seriously hope these runners made sure to look around their, their house or apartment to make sure Grand Pooh Bear wasn't around stomping. <clears throat> Mr. Romper Stomper over here. All right, Haxer is gonna be first at the hands here. He gets a good time save here with the kill. Or is gonna have to go for the stompy stomps. All right, Haxer, come on, man. You need this stuff. All right, no hands. My, it's right here, man. And you'll get secure a good lead. All right, let's go. Oh, second hand, I got nervous. Zikabi, is Zikabi gonna get no hands and take the lead? Is this what's gonna happen? Oh, I got hand number three! So if Haxer gets pulled in by hand number three, Zikabi officially has the lead. Zikabi also got the hand he wants to get this power up right here, Fire Flower, just for Zikabi. Does Haxer get pulled in? He does not and keeps his lead right on for the Haxer. Wow, they both get one hand. Here we go, man. Here we go. Here we go. Hacks are not getting the points he needs, though. Um, two of the points here are RNG. That's out of his control, obviously, but, you know. You can always- you gotta hope, man. That's what it's all about. <clears throat> Alright. So we got the fast airship. Yay! Yay! The fast airship. Zikabi is not far behind. Not far behind at all. Haxer, ha Haxer is guaranteed this win without, if he makes no mistakes, he's got this win on lockdown. He has it. That's all he needs to do is just do the world normally. There's no RNG that can put him behind. All right, Haxer making his way to 8-1. Very important level. Does not take damage. He's looking pretty good. Is he going to go for P-Speed? He's not going for P-Speed. Doesn't take damage. Looking pretty clean. All right. Smashes right through it. Now it's Zikabee's turn. 8-1 is one of the most stress-inducing levels on good pace, world record pace, or race pace. He goes for the... Oh! He does not have to worry about taking that damage, though. That is right. He is safe. Haxor's taking the Sand of Shame, which could lose him the race. Oh no! Oh no, if Zikabi does not take the Sand of Shame, that is a big catch up. 
He's not taking it! Holy crap! I was not thinking that Haxler was gonna take the Sand of Shame in this situation. That tightens it up much. He's gonna go for- Oh, sick of be not going for the damage boost. I would have definitely gone. But you never know with that sun. So the lead has been made much smaller for Haxor. Oh, Zikabi almost getting the fanfare. Woo! Haxor almost taking damage. This is incredible. As long as he doesn't take damage. If he missed his first cycle, which in vanilla is really hard to do. You don't normally miss the first cycle. Ooh. Zikabi doing the wall rub. The guaranteed good cycles. Haxor making through with P-Speed. Looking comfortable. Looking clean. Doing good. He did not miss first cycle. Do not press up too early here with the spikes. Nice. Oh no! Zikabi not going in the doorway! Wow! Holy jumping! What happens? Oh my gosh! This. I've seen that happen to Haxer before! The doorway! The doorway of despair! The doorway of regrets! Zikabi taking the death and 0.5 for the death. Alright, Zikabi knows he's got a lot of points here though. He knows he's got a lot of points. At least I think he does, right? Axer making his way. Elevator clip, guys. We've seen it happen before. We've seen- I cannot believe Zikabi took that death. He's still in the lead though by 2.5. Dude, elevator clip. Here it is. Haxer needs this elevator clip. Haxer needs this elevator clip because if Zikabi gets it and Haxer doesn't, that could be very bad for him. He's also got to make sure he does not get the troll Bowser. Alright, Haxer. Is the first one going into Bowser's castle right now. Bumping on the overworld map. Does not care though. As long as he doesn't take damage. As long as he gets this elevator clip. Fingers on the trigger. Does he get it? He does not get it. World A does not work in form with these points. However, he still does have the original power up from World 7. So as long as he keeps that, he should be in good hands. No slip ups on the stairs. Clip get first try. So as long as Bowser does not troll him, he does not want to get the P-Speed in the statue room. I don't blame him. It's very scary. Zikabi finishing up the last tank brigade. He's going to make his way to Bowser's castle. If Zikabi gets this clip, that'll make it even harder for Axer to take this lead. Oh, he's going to get the sub-54 as well. Oh, Haxer opting out. Don't blame him. That is very scary. I hope this doesn't inadvertently uh, mess him up here. He's looking pretty safe right now. Doing a couple shots here and there. He's missing some shots. He's, well, he's not missing shots, but... Oh my gosh! I... Does he lose the race too? He still wins the race, but oh my gosh. Okay, I missed it. Did Zikabi get elevator clip? Zikabi did not get elevator clip. Haxer got first place, 60, sub 40. That's it. Zikabi got second place, 60 and sub 40. Wow! Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and log these in. Haxer time with a Haxer had like a fifty-three. Haxer had like a fifty-three, probably forty, I'd say. And Zikabi had a fifty-three, forty-eight. It looked like Haxer's points right now seven point five, with Zikabi the nine points. Wow!
Oh, man. Wow, and they both got sub 54. That's incredible. Haxer was underneath the boom boom. Haxer was underneath the boom boom, or the Bowser there. That was weird. So we're gonna move on to game two. Take five minute break. Okay, what do we got here? So we have the Haxer with 7.5. Let's see here. Zikabee has nine. Looking pretty good. And the Haxer has uh, 7.5. Anyone's game right now, guys. Absolutely anyone's game right now. Holy crap. All right, I'm with you guys in chat. How's it going, guys? Man. All right, you guys ready? Is everyone ready? All right. Three, two, one, go! All right! So right now we see on the scores that we have Zikabi with a 9 and Haxer with a 7.5. So it is anyone's game right now, dude. It is anyone's game right now. Uh, let's see if Zikabee's going to do his patented, I want to take damage in the first level. And he does not. And neither does Haxer. So we're looking pretty good. It's looking pretty... Looking pretty tight right now. Haxer, doing the greatest turn back of all time. Alright, for anyone who doesn't know, the first point in World 1 is the MFP Tunnel. They have not used any inventory stars, and they have also not died yet. So they are on... Uh, they are automatically awarded the 1.5 points. It looks a little wavy in here. When you watch them back to back, it's like like waves. It's really cool. Hope you guys are enjoying your Friday night. I am your host, Mitch Flower Power, and the creator of this beautiful, amazing tournament match. Zika B getting the lead there with a movement of one. Must be nice. Having a good time. Axe are not one going for the orb jump. Don't blame them. I'd probably do the same thing, however I don't, and I got bit in the ass when I did it at GDQ, so... Obviously I made the wrong choice. Right on. Alright, here we go! Zikabee first at the MFP tunnel. Is he going to get two tunnels in a row? Haxer needs to get as many points to make up for the points here. Let's see what happens. Zikabee keeping the P-speed, Haxer also keeping the P-speed, Zikabee... Gets the tunnel, does Axer get the tunnel? They both get the tunnels! Yeah, baby! Yes, finally! We got the double tunnels, guys. We need to see some MFP tunnels in the chat right now. Hype first race. Let's go, dude. They both got their 0.5. They both got their good World 1 RNG. And they are ready to go. Alright, both getting the P-Speed strategy. Strategy is not very hard. They both know how to do it. It's pretty simple. They're making their way through. Looking good. Absolutely incredible. Oh, Zikabi taking the lead with luck. Looking good. Right on. Very close race. Very close indeed. All right, so what do you guys think is going to happen in game two? It's it's already tight. Haxer is already making sure that Zikabee cannot gain an additional lead. It's looking pretty good, man. You love to see it. I'm excited. Ooh, Zikabee going for the top strats. Those are the comfortable strats, man. I, I remember I used to do that all the time in 
It may, you don't have to worry about anything on this airship. It's very nice. Not that you would have to worry in the first place. The airship's not that difficult, but it's still pretty good. Right on. Oh my gosh, he almost took damage there. If he would have taken damage, that's it. He would have lost his reward. All right, going for the fire kill. Both of them, they both know how to do it. If they take damage, they are screwed. Hacks are not taking damage. They could be not taking damage. They could be in the lead by one second. And Hacks are saving time on his world one. Almost. Almost saving time. For those of you who don't know, the next points that they can acquire is in world two. 292 on the pipe and 221 fire kill on the boss. 221 or higher gets you 0.5. If you get into the pipe in 22 at 292 or higher, obviously, you get 0.5. So uh, last time Zikabi got all the first four points right away. So he might he might be able to do it again. It's gonna be hard to keep track of both of the runners in 22, but it's gonna be very exciting as long as neither of them take damage here. They should be pretty safe. Smashing through this, looking good. Looking good, they're both doing the same stuff. Slightly different beginning. And they are good to go. Oh, Hex are going for the turn back, which is pretty good. Now that Zigabee has the fanfare, which, oh man, you do not want that. Uh, Hex are getting better RNG than Zigabee in terms of the first level. All right, let's see how it goes. I can't keep track of both of them. Zigabee takes an early death right away. Haxer with the 296, 295, 294. 293! Oh, he just misses it! Oh, man, and Zikabi takes that early death. He gets the 292. Do we count that? What do you think, guys? What do you say? Do we count that 292? It's up to the crowd. Do we count it? All right, the crowd deems we count that. We had never encountered somebody dying, but... He does get the 292 in the pipe. He does get it, even though he did die, but there's nowhere in the rules that it says it has to be first try. We did not assume that a player would have died there. So he does get the point. The crowd says yes. I, as the referee, had to go in for the lifeline there to figure that one out. All right. Zikabi is not gonna be awarded the power up from World 1. So he's got to hope that Haxer takes that damage. Haxer is now going to do the strategy he wanted to use before where he gets the music box here. So he's going to he's going to get some good some good RNG here from the rest of the world. Uh Zik could be also going for it. Ooh, Haxer almost getting the early hammer. Not going to go for the death though. Don't think that's a very good idea. Wow. If Haxer did not go for that music box, he could have got that post 2-3. Let's see if Zikabi gets the post 2-3, though. When is Zikabi going to get his power-ups? I think the pyramid is going to be where he gets his mushroom. And then I think he's going to get uh, the fire flower. Ooh, okay, he's pretty safe. Blood there on the corner, but he's looking pretty good right now. This could still be anyone's race right now. Hax is prop. Yeah, Hax is going to have to go down to level 5 uh, to wrap his way around. Not too bad, not too bad. Hax still has the same power-up right now. And Zikubi, uh, he's able to take the faster route right now with the Hammer Brothers. Hacks are getting a mushroom, not having to worry about the fanfare. Let's see what Zikubi. Zikubi can run under the turtles if he wanted, but he doesn't need to worry about that. He's very used to the way he does this level normally. He does not have to worry about anything like that. All right, so Zikabee's gonna be able to get his hammer here as long as he doesn't take a weird, strange death. You're not used to fighting them small, so weird things can happen. We'll get to see what kind of lead Haxer has on Zikabee right now. Uh, after, you know, once they uh, approach the pyramid. Once oh no, Zikabee with another death right there. However, that death is not that bad considering he's already taken his first death. There you go, he's got the level under control. Not happy about that death right now. He's not going to get the mushroom in this level. He's going to get the mushroom in the pyramid. Which seems like a, a better bet in my opinion. This might hurt his ability to get the 221 fire kill. He needs as many points as he can. 
Um, it's very early on that he hopes that Haxer takes damage here, so this could be uh, anything right now. Nice. He knows he knows the uh, special pyramid mushroom grab that's fast. Loving around with his movement a little bit. I don't know if he's nervous or if it's just a simple mistake. Uh, it's hard to tell at this point. He knows he's behind, obviously. Uh, but what is he going to do about it? He's already died, so he can go for Jesus Clip. Ladies and gentlemen, we might actually see a Jesus Clip. There should be no reason why he shouldn't go for it, right? He's done all the worst things that has happened to him. I don't think I've ever actually seen Zikabi in any kind of tilt before or anything like that. So I don't know, I don't know how any of this is going to happen, but it's looking really good. This race is looking really good. Well, I, I don't know if Zikabi knows uh, Big Mario Fireflower grab on the airship uh, boss kill. Oh, I, what I do know is that Haxer should be able to secure this uh, 0.5 here. If Zikabi gets this fire kill, Zikabi is still cleaning out the first few worlds of his card, which is exactly what he did last run as well. Bum, 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 bum. Right? He's, he probably feels good now. He's like, oh, when you get your fire flower back, you feel more comfortable. All right, Haxer, come on, get the fire kill. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has got it. Haxer going for the off screen wall grab, does not get it, but he does get the point five for the fire kill. Feeling good about that points. Feeling good about it. Zikabi, two shots, three shots, four, five. He gets it still. Oh my God, Zikabi is unstoppable with these first few worlds. Is Zikabi asking right now, Mitch, did that? Oh, did Haxer get the first frame jump? Did Haxer get the first frame jump? I was in the middle of dealing with... Okay, no jump. No jump. You got no jump. Okay. All right. Eyes on Zikabee's screen right now. Eyes on Zikabee's screen. Does he get the first frame jump? If he does get it, he is unstoppable with these points. He gets it! <laughs> what is this guy's deal? Zika be asking, does his uh, point count? And I said, I went to the crowd for it, and the crowd says, yes, it does count. All right, you two. All right, Zika be not getting the fast P speed strategy. Unfortunately, that is going to slow him down a little bit. But as long as he doesn't take damage, he wants to keep his Fire Flower uh, for the rest of this world. Hacks are just making heavy work of World Three, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go and see for Door Three, and we're gonna have to see um, for um, let's see. No runaway, bro, from either of them. All right, Hacks are going for door three. He does not get it. Damn, dude. Door three is the hardest, man. The hardest boss. All right, Zikabee's turn. Does he get the door three? There's no way he gets it. Ah, I was gonna say, man, if he got it, he's gotten the same points. Haxer, he doesn't know what to do. He's in a very, very tight situation. This is probably one of the worst situations you want to be in for World 3. Uh, luckily, I'm pretty sure he does make the right decision. If he runs away, he opts to skip him. If not, you know, it's just, it is whatever it is. He's gonna have to figure out what happens here. Uh, run, either way, he's in a, he's in a decent situation. Either way. All right, so let's see. What does Zikubi get? Zikubi is in the exact same situation. Haxer gets the runaway, bro, but he's going to be able to skip this. 
which means Haxer has to do... Oh, man! <laughs> that means Haxer has to do the Fortress in World 4, or Haxer's gonna do two extra levels in World 6. He has those options. They both got hit with the same situation! Zik could be in the- they're in the exact same movements! It could be not having the ideal 3-8 that he wants, whereas Haxer's getting the ideal 3-9 that he wants with the H jump. Clean sweeping it. Looking good, guys. Looking nice and clean, man. Nailing it. All right. This is another awesome race. <laughs> That's the best movement of two you'd ever see. Zikabi also getting the H jump, smashing his way through. Zikabi has a little bit of time to catch up here, though. Haxer has a solid, uh, what does it look like? It looks like a good 40 second lead almost, I'd guess, right? When does Haxer's feet touch the airship? Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, 1427 is when his feet touch the airship. Hammer Brothers did the, like, the almost the exact same movements, I think. World 3 airship, let's go, baby! I don't- so Zikabi could go for the Wendy point, right? He's got- he really doesn't have anything to lose here. And also, Zikabi doesn't have anything to lose when he goes for World 4, Fort 1. They're both gonna go for the ass point. And that's what happens when you get Runaway, bro. You gotta go for the ass point. Max is gonna go for his Wendy kill. Let's see how he goes. He got two, four, six, eight. Oh, seven, eight, nine. Okay, he's got it. <laughs> A couple missed shots there, but he made it work. All right, Zikabi. I don't know if Zikabi knows the Wendy kill or not. It all depends. If the player knows it, they go for it. If, if they don't know it, then there's no reason to go for it, right? So let's see what Zikabi does here. We got two, four, six, eight. Nah, he's gone. He's good. He's safe. Boom. So what is the time difference right now? Did anyone tally it up? Zikabi's the only person who got a Wendy point. No, no, we saw Ibuba get the Wendy point. We've also seen um, somebody else got the, the point as well. Haxel getting the dope fast 4-1 P-Speed. Very comfortable. It's what he knows. Making great work with it. Ooh, he got the item skip. This it could be. Save that frame. Save that wholesome, luxurious frame. Alright. This RNG is not what you want to see from World 4. Uh, because you cannot... I mean, they can! They can hammer the brick! If they hammer the brick, then they have to, right? They have to, they have to... If they ha if they skip 441 here, they have to do two extra levels in World 6. And I want to see if, by habit, they just use the hammer, because that would be very bad. That's way too much time lost. Two extra levels. Ooh, hacks are getting bad RNG. Zik could be getting a little bit better RNG. All depends on what happens here. You don't want to see that star, bro. That's like the worst thing to see ever. There you go. So Zikabi gets the good RNG. He does not have to chase down the hammer. Let's see what Haxer does. He should be doing the fortress here. There you go. So he's gonna go for the ass point. Let's go. Come on, Haxer. Fingers on the trigger right here. Don't take damage. Oh! 
He doesn't get the ass point, though. He's opting out, which is a very good idea. That was not a panic move on his part. That was, uh, you know what? I'm not testing this. Um, I'm not taking damage because he needs those three points. Not only to win, but for his above average points. He is in the lead for points right now. Haxer has the most points out of everyone right now as it stands. So, he needs to keep his points. Alright, Zikabee's turn. He does not use the hammer. That was a good idea. Alright, does Zikabee get the ass point? Let's find out. He goes, he nails the duck jump. Gets that jump, gets that jump. He doesn't take damage. Oh my gosh, is this it? Does he get the ass point? Does Zikabee get it? 288. 288 or higher. He does, he gets the ass point. He is catching up. He's died, guys. He has died. Ooh, almost forced to get the star card, but he is gonna luck up there. So he's got, he's got to hope that the P-Wing is on the right side of either 4-5 or 4-6. Wow. All right, Hacks are in a good spot. He's able to skip and grab it. Wow, that's luck. However, he might be forced to get the star. He might get punished here. Let's hope not, man. Let's hope not. Let's see what happens with the Hammer Brother RNG. What does he get? So he's got to fight him. Is this the star, bro? This isn't the star, bro, I don't think. Nope. Oh, here. Here we go. Does the Hammer Brother move on top of him? If he does, he is... Oh! He is forced! He has no chance! He has to take the star, bro. It is tied up, ladies and gentlemen. However, Haxer does have the advantage of not taking damage yet. Holy crap here. That is why the star point is there, because what you just saw happens, man. That is so annoying. That's gotta be annoying. That means Zikabee has now taken the lead in time. Uh, strictly due to the fact that Haxer had to do the extra Hammer Brothers. Haxer does have the extra uh, P-Wing, which is good for him. But there's not much... Not much else than that. And we've seen Zikabee wastes P-Wings. It's very strange. Uh, he wastes P-Wings in World 7. We've seen it in all of his races now. Oh, Zikabee getting unlucky there, fighting the extra Hammer Brother. But it is, in fact, the P-Wing. So he is actually kind of lucky there. And look at this. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> what? All because the Hammer Brother was stuck there. If the Hammer Brother wasn't stuck... Then he would have done a move and uh, Haxer would have taken the lead there. Jesus! These races! What the heck, man? These races are way too pog, man. I can't handle it. Alright, I can read chat now. I'm with you guys. We are on the long airship, the boring airship. Not much to do. Nobody got the Wendy points. I have an exclamation SMB3 to read the points. There's a there's a there's a link there for you to read the points. They are synced back up. However, Haxer has not taken damage yet. Haxer has not taken damage. He has a massive three point advantage right now. As long as he doesn't take damage. But Zikabi has the Zikabi only gets a 0.5 punish if he goes for Jesus Clip. So there should be no reason why Zikabi won't go for Jesus Clip, especially if he thinks he's losing. Every time Zikabi, he's gotta do it. I'm glad you guys really enjoy this uh, points tournament. Uh, Zikabi going for the, uh, the music there we got going on. A lot of her and G's. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Bye, chat. Zikabi going. He got a weird stomp. Oh, he's safe. Oh, he takes damage, which is fine! Alright, Zikabee is safe. He does take damage, but he loses nothing because of it. Haxer does not take damage. So Haxer is still 
safe right now. Haxer is still safe. All right, we got 5-1. 5-1 is very hard to get through without taking damage if you want to do it fast, but I think Haxler knows his strategies and knows what he's willing to do to take it slow and comfortable. And look at that. Just like that, he is good to go. Flubbing on the stairs. Not going to get P-Speed like he wanted, but that's okay. Where Zigabee's going to do the big jump and actually catch up a little bit. However, he does not have the Fire Flower. I'm wondering, I think Zigabee's just going to have to bite the bullet and do this entire world. Uh, without the Fire Flower. All the way until 5-7. Neither of them getting a movement of 4. Neither of them getting the the Shaft of Shame. However, Haxer going slow loses loses the lead by going slow there for the Shaft of Shame. Making sure he doesn't fall down the Shaft. But that's okay because he still is not taking damage. He might be behind by a couple seconds. But Zigabee does not have the Fire Flower for the Boom Boom. So Haxer will definitely catch up there. Shafts of Shame might not be a very important, but it's definitely enough for, to make people change what they're doing. All right. Zikubi with a movement of three, not a movement of four. And he is very, uh, very close to a movement of four position right now. Haxor has already done the Hammer Brothers and no music box in World 4, so now is a great time for him to use a music box. Watch, guys. Watch how, how fast you catch up with Fire Flower Boom Booms. Watch this. All right? Zikabee's clearly ahead. Stomp. 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 Look at that. Hacks are caught up. He's ahead now. That's why we gotta keep Fire Flower in our speedruns, guys. Everyone asks, is it really that important to keep it? Yes. Did you see that? Oh, Zikabee going for the music box now. Okay. Oop, Hacks with a little flubby. He's gonna get... Ooh, the delayed P-Speed. Oh, he makes it though. Okay, he is safe. Now, this is where he took damage last time. I don't think he's going to this time. Very nicely done on Axer's side, not taking that damage. It's exactly what he wants. Zikabi slowly catching up. If Zikabi gets this Jesus clip, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Zikabi's got nothing to lose right now. He's in such a comfortable position. Uh, Haxer is a little tense because he doesn't want to take that damage. Oh, oh, Haxer keep P-Speed. Incredible. That's some of the hardest P-Speed to keep right there. But he did not get into the pipe, so it did cost him a little bit of time. Oh, Hacks falling off the vine, takes a slip, takes a spill, loses his lead right there. Damn, neither of them have gotten a movement of four yet. Neither of them have gotten a movement of four yet. Zika be making good work. Hacks are also making fantastic work. Doesn't look like anyone's getting a coin ship. Look, looking pretty good on the coin ship side. All right, we're going to have to keep an eye out for Haxer with the movements of four. Make sure they're not movements of two. Because it could be getting a movement of one. Haxer getting a movement of two. Ooh, so it could be nailing P-Speed. Haxer also nailing P-Speed. You gotta love to see that, man. There hasn't been many hate to see it's this, this game. Because it could be going for the tail strat there. Right on. So he's going to take damage. I don't know if Haxer... Oh, no. No one's using a star. So it doesn't matter being behind a star. Never mind. I, I got vanilla... Oh man, neither of them gotten movement of four yet. Are they both gonna get out of this world without a movement of four? Is it could be going for the incredible backup P speed strategies for 5 7. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Haxer not having a coin ship. Is it could be also not having a coin ship. What's gonna happen right here? Any movements of four? Movement of three? Nope, no movement of four? Haxer is able to skip this hammer, brother. Still no movements of four on his side. All right. What's Zikabi going to do here? Is he going to go for it? Oh, he went for it but didn't get it, dude. He takes the spill. Takes the spill. Still no movements of four, though. That's all right. He, had, he didn't have anything to lose. Just the death there. Haxer has one level. Two levels left for movements of four. He doesn't get a movement of four there. So he could be taking it slow as he should. 
Axe are not taking damage. Looking like he's gonna he's gonna get those points. Does he get the fanfare? He does not get the fanfare, so he is good right now. This is his last movement. Does he get a movement of four? Does he get a movement of four? He does not get a movement of four, so Haxer is awarded the no movement of four point. Right on, dude. All right, now it's time for Zikabee. Zikabee's got this last level. If Zikabee does not get a movement of four, he is also awarded the no movement of four point. Zikabee almost got that Jesus clip, guys. It was incredible. He got a movement of two, so he also gets the movement of four reward right there, man. Absolutely incredible. Haxer really does not want to take damage on this airship right now. If he takes damage on this airship, he loses his reward and he can almost kiss his spot at first place. $500 cash prize. Goodbye. You don't want to, and Zikabee does not want to get knocked out either because he doesn't even get second or third place cash prize. So very risky. All right, Haxer looks like he's in a very safe position right now. Not going to go for the fire kill. No risk. If you don't go for the fire kill, you are safe. Here we go. He's going for the jump. Goes for the jump. Looking good. Go for the off-screen wand grab. He does not get the clip, but he tried for it. Very nicely done by Haxer. All he's got to do is make it into the level, and he gets his point. All right, Zikabee's turn for an off-screen wand grab. Uh, he's probably not going to go for the fire kill. Oh, he does not get it. All he's got to do is get that jump and that off-screen wand grab. That is a heavy amount of points, man. That is a big, big amount of points. All right, Haxer. He's got the Hammer Brother battle. There should be no reason why he takes damage here. Not going to happen. Taking it nice and slow to make sure. It looks like he is pretty good for that point. Looks like he does not have to worry. He's avoiding a coin ship by block hits. Doesn't get a marathon. He goes to the end of the level. Doesn't get the reward. Boom. Gets the reward. He is now up at 5.5. Kept the same power up from World 1 all the way to World 6. Very friggin' difficult. All right. He gets the spike. He gets the little spike trick. Zikabi going to do the Hammer Brother battle a little bit faster. He's got nothing to lose, so he's not fear. Axel's going to get the upside down orb. Nail it. Zika be getting uh, a little bit of good RNG here. Movements of two and movements of one without them crossing any levels is very good. Zika B's going to do his weird question block. Look at that run. Looking pretty good. Right on. All right. Haxer is going to go for the 6-4. Will he get the P-Speed to give his lead even bigger? Let's see. Not quite. Doesn't look like it. But he looks like he's going to do the level very cleanly. Boom. Hit the P-Switch. Avoid the coin ship. And looks like he's out of there. Zikabee also doing the upside down orb grab. Making a clean, clean kill. And a very clean level with this little question block elevator run thing. Which is pretty awesome if you ask me. Alright, Zikabee getting movements of one. Haxer looks like he's forced to fight a hammer brother. Is this the good hammer brother? This is the good hammer brother for him. Zikabee getting P-Speed. He's going to be able to catch up a little bit on Haxer with that P-Speed. Which is what he needs right now. Uh, Haxer does not know if he's screwed over by the Hammer Brother or not, or yet. The Hammer Brother could have been down and move up. If so, he's lucky. The Hammer Brother could have been up and moved down. If so, he has a chance of getting unlucky here. Let's find out. Zikabee also has no idea if he's going to get lucky or not here. We're going to find out. Zikabee getting the despawn right on. Nice, nice. So Haxer is going to get lucky by skipping that Hammer Brother. That is very good for time. That is very, very good. Ooh, making a nice clean. He's got two stars. I don't think he's too worried about it. Zikabee, oh! Zikabee is in a rough spot right here. He has a very low chance of getting lucky. But we'll see how, we'll see how it plays out here. The Hammer Brother needs to move down. If he moves left, he is out. Let's find out. He's facing right. 
Oh, he gets lucky. That is fantastic. That is exactly what he wants. Make sure Haxer does not get that lead. All right, so Haxer is going to be the first up to do 6-8. Right on. Let's see. He goes for 6-8. He's going to take his damage there uh, to make sure he can uh, go for the wall jump. They both got a first try last time. So let's see if they both get the same thing this time. That would be incredible uh, to see it. So let's see what happens here. Haxer's going to have to go for the turn back, not get the card. And he does not get it. No fanfare for Haxer. That's good. No one's got a fanfare or a coin ship. That is very good. You'd love to see it. They're both going to get movements of one for the rest of the world. Haxer's on his way. Does he get first try wall jump? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Oh, he messes up. Does he get good RNG? Oh, he had the clip. But he missed the A input. He gets his second try. Unfortunately, there's no point for second try wall jump. Zikabi needs this badly uh, to stay... At least somewhat close to the lead here. He's not in the lead. Hax is in the lead by one point total, I think. So let's see what Zikabi does here. Does he get wall jump first try? Zikabi gets it first try! He needed that so badly! Haxer is going to get the mushroom to try and go for the 4-3 clip. Very good idea in my opinion. Let's see if he gets it. Oh man, every time it looks like they're, they're going to get it. Zikabee's probably going to want to go for the same thing. Clearing that good point home. Haxer only has an actual 0.5 lead right now. That is all he has is a 0.5 lead. Let's see if Zikabee gets the clip. If he gets the clip, that is disgusting. Oh my gosh, every time. Every time I get nervous. <sighs> all right, well, that concludes that World 6. I'm going to have to open up chat again and say hello to all you lovely people. I hope you guys are having a good time. Wait, math? What? Oh, Haxer has 13. Okay. And Zikabee has 11.5. Uh, my bad. Yes, yes. Hey, settle down, guys. You guys try so hard. He is in the lead, though. So, and he's also in the lead for time. So this could be... This could be... This could be weird. I'm running out of sodi pop. I gotta keep the sodi pop high. Do I think winning should be worth more, what, money? Well, it depends. I'm funding the whole thing. So do I want to give people more money for winning in a tournament that I'm not participating in? It's a, it's a difficult option. I want to make I want to make seasons have an increase in value, of course. So like next season first place might be 700 bucks. Right? Haxer, he's going to go for the boss battle here. You're going to see him move right one pixel then move left one pixel to get a manipulation here. Let's see. He moved right and then he moved left. There you go. He is on sub pixel 15. I can tell you definitely 100% that Haxer is on subpixel 15. Let's see what Zikabee does. As long as Haxer doesn't miss his jump, he's guaranteed that sub 7 1 first try. Zikabee, getting the stomps. What does he go for? Zikabee does get the low subpixel value. So, Ollie, they are both on a very, very high chance of getting 7 1 first try. Uh, the only way Haxer does not get 7 1 here is if he messes up his jump. My finger's on his 7 1 right now. He is on subpixel value 15, guaranteed. 100%, which is a stand clip. And he gets it. Easy. We already knew. I'm not even impressed. We knew it. Very nicely done. I am impressed. That was a very nice job. <sighs> Zikabi needs this, man. Zikabi does not do standing clip, though. He does duck clip. So let's see if Zikabi gets this. Does Zikabi get this? If he gets this... Oh, Zikabi went for the standing clip, but he moved right one pixel. He might have not realized that he moved right one pixel... Dang, he was on a low subpixel value there. And Zikabee did actually, in fact, do the correct uh, jump into the wall as well. Oh, Hacks are taking damage there. Flip flopping around a little bit. Where Zikabee is having a great time in 7 1. He, he gets it though. But again, we got 7 7, and we have 7 9, and 7 6. We have no rang. We have no hands. We have world 7 power up. There's still so much more left to do. All right. 
So Zikipi, I don't think, has a P-Wing for this. He does. Okay, he's using his P-Wing. As long as Haxer doesn't die here, he, he should be in a pretty good spot. He's looking good. This 7-3 uh, is not too difficult. Alright, looking pretty good. Boom. Done and done. Zika be going right into the next pipe, man. Doing, doing some really good work with the time here. Alright, hacks are clouding. Very impressive inventory clouds. There's really nothing to it. He just selected the cloud. I'm just memeing. Alright, Zikabee's turn at the 7-3. The famous 7-3. Alright, so Hax is going to go for sub-pixel manipulation as well. What you want to do is take damage, move right one pixel. He moved right a little bit there, so he should be good. That looks pretty good for the manipulation. Ooh, Zikabee with those incredible menuings. It's like task strat. So as long as he doesn't miss his jump, he should get 7-6 first try. Oh, he misses his jump just like last time. You hate to see it, but he does not get a second try either. So he's going to have to make work. Ooh, missing the jumps here. Come on, man. There we go. He got it. Looking good. Lost a little bit of time there. So it gives a chance, uh, Zikabee a chance to get this clip first try. If he gets it, he will acquire another 0.5. So let's see what happens here. Uh, Haxer's uh, definitely going to go for 7-7 seven, seven here because he's wanna. there's no reason not to. It's a free point. Unless he feels he's in the lead, which it w I don't even think it would matter. All right, Zikabi. 7-6 first try. And he gets it! 7-6 first try! He gets his points back. Now it's Haxer's turn going for 7-7. Seven, seven. The longer he takes, the more chance Zikabi has to catch up. I think Zikabi is going to go for 7-7 seven, seven this time. I don't see why he wouldn't. Maybe he doesn't like 7-7, but no, he's going for 7-7. So if he gets it before Haxer, he not only takes the lead, but he gets the point. Does he get it? This is crazy. Down to the 7-7s. Seven oh my god! He got it! 7-7 seven, seven before the Haxer, so now he takes the lead. And Zikabi needs these lead points very badly. Wow! Oh my gosh! So what's gonna happen here is he's gonna go for clips uh, three and four, but he's gonna do the level vanilla. He gives us the time to continue watching hacks to try and go for the seven seven. He see he gets the seven seven, so he gets the point. Look at that! Boom! Unfortunately, Zikabi has uh, somewhat of a lead right now. Um, but the hands could change that. That's for sure. This is the last level of the world. As we've seen players, they really like to opt out of um, the fortress. No reason to do it. All right. Oh my god, he gets it! Oh, he doesn't get it! That's so annoying! That is two times! However, he goes really fast and cleans it away. But Haxer has a chance to almost guarantee his win right here. Zikabi really needed that 1.5. All right, it's, it's Haxer's turn. Come on. Oh, he wants to get a good lead. Yeah, he wants to get a good power up. Let's go. Here he goes. Gets the first one. Oh my god, he got the second one. So he gets the 1.5. You cannot stop him right now. Wow. Wow. He is unstoppable. All he messed up was 7-6 and he probably just messed up his jump. We'll never know for sure, but what we do know is the jump messed up. So, Zikabi has a lot of points to gain back here. So what does Haxer have right now? A two point lead? Looks like Haxer has a two-point lead, right? Three-point lead. Ooh, baby. Three-point lead, man. So this is very possible.
Was Haxor's first power-up on the airship? Did I miss that? If Haxor's power-up is on the airship, he does not get the point. So what did I miss? He got he got the fire flower in in seven nine, but he what did he do? He take damage. He took damage on what the Goombas. If he had mushroom entering the airship, oh, he used the P wing. Well, I mean that's a sacrifice. That's actually kind of pretty big, actually. All right, Zikabi, maybe he'll go for the off-screen wand grab this time. <gasps> oh! <laughs> no, don't do that to me. Wow. Don't do that to me. Ow, that killed me there. Unbelievable. He almost just snagged that 1.5 right there, dude. Holy shit, I thought he had it, man. I know. That's incredible. Wow. All right. So, first thing to happen in World 8 is we need Wrangless. If the hammer, if, if Zikabi can get Wrangless in 8 tank... Guys, it all comes down to this World 8, man. It all comes down to this World 8. Because Haxer does not get the award. Uh, can I just get- can I just get somebody to confirm in the rules? I do remember stating that you have to have the power-up going into the airship. Getting the power-up on the airship does not count for the original power-up because you are given the power-ups in the airship. So it's free power-ups. That is correct. That is right. It states in the rules. Just want to make sure. All right, then. I just want to guarantee make sure everyone was cool. I don't want to have any problems. I want everyone to be happy. <sighs> Man. Mike, if you guys could see my Sony Pop can, it's all like torn and ripped apart from like all the stress. This is incredible. If Zikabi gets Wrangless, he, he's just making the gap smaller and smaller here, man. But don't forget, guys, Jesus Clip runs the whole race. Without, uh, because Jesus Clip's in here, the tournament's broken. My system's broken. Broken. Gotta read. It's over. I'm salty about it too, because it's broken. Alright. Zick could be going for the Wranglis. Does he get it? Oh my god, he almost got it, but he does not get the award for it. You hate to see it. He needs as many as these points as he can get. He cannot afford these these well, they're RNG points, so unfortunately there's not much you can do about it, but. Alright, Haxus turn. Does he get Wranglis? No, he does not. Neither of them get Wrangless. They both actually got bad RNG. Ooh, Haxer. Wrong side, buddy. But it happens. It happens, man. That's two chests that have gotten him today, man. I had to, I actually had a chest that got me today, too. It's Nintendo, they were epic brains, man, back then. They were like, oh, let's make the chest appear on the opposite side of Mario. So, like, optimally grabbing the chest is really hard. Well, yeah, you're supposed to take damage in the fortress in World Six. That's what. That's why. The, that's why it's keeping your fire flower from World One to Six because you're supposed to take damage in World Six. All right, guys, here comes the hands, man. How do you guys think it's gonna play out? Haxer can take the lead 100% with the hands here. Here goes Zikabee. He's probably a little nervous, man. <sighs> I'm nervous. What's gonna happen here? What's gonna happen? Here it goes. <sighs> Got me, man. Alright, second hand. 
He does not get the no hands point. He needs points. Unfortunate. Let's see what happens to Haxer. Oh, he bumped on the overworld map. That is going to change what his outcome would have been if he didn't bump. Let's see what happens. Haxer gets no hands! Oh my god! And he closes the gap! Wow! Oh, man! Wow! And this is how it happens, guys. This is how it happens. Haxer, first race. Why do I play this game? I shouldn't even do race two. And then nails these tricks. Killing it. Very nicely done on Haxer's side. Feels good. He feels good. That's why it's in there, you know? The, the no hands reward. He does not get the fire the power up reward. All right, it's still a matter of race. Race for the points. And I mean, if Haxer takes a death too, that would just be very unfortunate. So let's find out what happens here. Dickaby nails it. Making good work. Hacks are also making really good work here. Right on. They both nail it. <sighs> Zikabi, he's, uh, he's got 8-2 now. He's going for the Sand of Shame. It's going to allow Zikabi to have a much bigger lead on him. Uh, securing the win in time, it, it, it seems like, could happen. Uh, but Haxer is ahead by a lot of points right now. Oh, man, can we see a sub-52? I don't think so. 7-7, seven, seven, right? We have the fortress, and as long as Zikubi doesn't die here, hopefully. All right, here we go. So Zikabi's got the lead, and it looks like Zikabi's looks like they're both gonna do sub 54 here. Could be, like, I don't see anyone dying here. really tight times for this tournament. These are really, really tight times for this tournament. Dum, dum, dum. Dum. All right, elevator cliff. Here it is. Here is elevator cliff. Zigabee's going to go first at the elevator cliff here. Haxer with the staggered fireballs getting the job done, though. Elevator cliff fingers on the trigger. It's right here. I'm waiting for it. Oh, he does not get it! He's still in the lead, though. Haxer gonna go for the elevator clip. Does Haxer get the elevator clip? Oh, he does not get it either. Dang, Zikabi really needed that uh, to keep his boost.
All right, here we go. As long as he doesn't take damage. He is good. All right, looks like Zika B is in first place of time. Original power up, sub 60 and sub 54. Hacks are doing the fire kill. He's doing good work. Oh, and Hacks are gets it right on. With a 53-32. Let's go ahead and write these down. 53. 53-32. Zika B points. Nine. Haxer gets a 53-39. 39, there we go. And Haxer's points are... He got second place 60 and 54. Right? There's sub 54. That's right. So Haxer's points are 13. So what is it? Haxer won. Haxer, it seems Haxer has officially won. Let's go ahead and do the official tallies. Haxer with the 7.5 plus 13. Solid, solid time. Right on. That's incredible. So Zikabi got 18 points. Where Haxer got 20.5. Absolutely incredible, you guys. Holy crap. All right, I am here with chat. What's going on? Haxer got second, not first. Mark two for Haxer. What are you talking about? Oh, second. Oh, yeah, sorry. I hit first place for Haxer. My bad. 